I started an institute at Berklee College of Music, uh, Institute of Jazz and Gender Justice, and we had an opening ceremony, and I said, let's play some songs written by women, and they looked in the real book, or the, you know, the book of standards, and couldn't find anything other than Willow Weep For Me. So I thought, okay, this must change. Uh, we shouldn't have to look, you know, have, it shouldn't be so hard to find jazz compositions by women, so let's make a collection where people can find a lot in one place. Yeah. Of course, we know many female, also historical uh, figures in jazz world, Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, we could go on for, 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 for hours, but those are mostly soloists. What's the explanation that we don't know the composers? Well, I think, you know, you can point to knowing a lot of women vocalists, as you said, but really you don't know a lot of women instrumentalists, not in comparison mm -hmm. to men. So most of the composers in the book are actually players, strong players yeah. that, uh, you know, lead bands and have records out. Yeah. So that's why I wanted this collection to be powerful. Is it a stupid question to ask if um, a composition by a female composer if it sounds different? No, I don't think there are any stupid questions. Uh, a question just leads you to something else. Um, so I think the, the bigger question is what could be missing from uh, the music itself, the performance of it, the sound of it, mm -hmm. uh, the written notes, uh, as well as the improvisation. What could be missing? Like, we don't know because we have not had equity yet. Yeah. You know, so the idea is there could be a, 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 an aesthetic, a sound aesthetic, uh, a, a woman's experience in the music that we haven't really heard yet. So yeah. that's why you push for equity because, the, you know, it, it's diversity is better for, for everybody. So the music itself will, will uh, reach more of its potential yeah. when there's diversity among the people that create it. It's part of a bigger project and a goal, jazz without patriarchy. This is just the start of it. What, what is the ultimate goal? Well, actually, that's the ultimate goal, yeah, jazz it. without patriarchy. Yeah. But that would have to mean that there's society without patriarchy, you know, the world without patriarchy. Because how, how different is it, the jazz world, compared to the society? Well, I think it's just an extension. It's a part of it. It's all one thing. You can't have uh, a society with patriarchy and then expect various sectors and fields to not no. have it. No. So that's but why... Is jazz behind, maybe? Well, maybe, yep. yeah. How come? I, I would say so. Well, I, the way I see it is because there's no system of checks and balances. Mm. There's no CEO of jazz. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's nobody saying, this is how we have to do this. Yeah. So it's just up to the people and the culture and it just evolves and yeah. turns into whatever it is. You but, could be the next CEO of jazz. <laughs> no, I don't think jazz needs a CEO, but it needs a community yeah. uh, that realizes that some voices have been left out yeah. and uh, that the music may have some other textures and flavors yeah. if uh, we have more women in the mix. Thank you. 